Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a video on uh, my American hollies. Um, a while back, um, I purchased a bunch of American holly trees and pots, but I really haven't done a video um, since I've planted several of them. Um, so that'll be the purpose of today's video. Um, these are really rare in my area, which is southern Ontario. I mean, I, I've only seen them really planted once in one location. You can you can see some. I wouldn't say mature ones, but uh, some ones with decent size in uh, Vineland, Ontario. Um, so they're they're a rare sight, and uh, they're for whatever reason they're impossible to to obtain in the nursery um, or garden center uh, organization in uh, this area. So uh, I'm not too sure why, because um, some of them are bred to be perfectly cold hardy. Um, so this is the, my largest one. I, I purchased this as a three gallon. Um, currently I would say it's about three, four feet in height. Um, it's doing very well. It overwintered uh, with flying colors last year with a uh, very minimal protection. I probably will not protect it this year. It's a cultivar called Arlene Leach. Uh, it's a red berry uh, um, female plant. And uh, American hollies both require a female and a male tree for uh, pollination. This one, uh, there, it's kind of far from my my male, which I will show you uh, in a second. But however, it did produce a few fruits, and they're in there. So there's some red berries there. Hopefully, in the future, they'll uh, produce a little more fruit, or maybe I'll even clip my male and bring over. Uh, a few uh, flowers for it to pollinate with, but uh, this is one of the hardiest cultivars you can find in the market. It's called Arlene Leach. Apparently it matures to about 40 feet. Yeah, that's doubtful in my climate. Usually the further south you get, the, the taller they'll get, the larger they'll get, but um, here I probably only expected to get maybe 20, 25 feet, but uh, that'll be uh, pretty cool if it does. So they're a broadleaf evergreen, perfectly hardy full tardy here so uh, yeah that's Arlene Leach and I will uh, just pause this video and show you the other three okay so I'm back at the the other location this is further back and uh, back of my house here is kind of forested it's where I planted these right next to my uh, Magnolia Virginiana um, Ned's cold something I forget the name of the cold fire but it's a cold hardy uh, sweet bay magnolia but this video is based on this. This is the other. So I have um, two females planted with a male in the middle. These leaves are starting to turn some shades of purple. I'm not too sure what's up with that, but hopefully that's okay. But as you can see, uh, it uh, has a beautiful berry show, and this is obviously a yellow berry and cultivar called um, canary. And uh, canary... It's not quite as cold tolerant as the Arlene Leach that I just showed. Um, this one's cold hardy from zone 5B and up, where the Arlene Leach apparently can take 4B and up, which is uh, pretty impressive for an American holly. So, um, yeah, so a beautiful berry show. The one in the middle is just a straight male, which, of course, will pollinate both these beautiful canary evergreen hollies so the canaries apparently will reach about 25 feet tall um, max out and the male is unknown if it's a uh, just the regular kind of uh, straight species it could reach uh, in the south it could get up to like 50 60 feet I'm told but here like I said I, I doubt it'd be, get more than 20 25 feet so they're perfectly cold hardy. I mean, I've given even these, these guys were what purchased as one gallons and I gave them very minimal protection and uh, zero damage, even for the canaries that are a little less hardy. So I'm not even sure if I'll protect these at all this winter. But uh, yeah, really cool. And uh, they're worth growing, especially when they get a little larger in size. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great weekend and uh, until next time.